Yeah, Evan and Abby, Mark Long got away with his crimes for almost 25 years, and when he wasn't robbing banks, he was hiding out here in Oklahoma City. And now officials say they know he shot at a police officer in 2003. As I like to say, while one of Mark's bullets hit me, the other four missed. Meet Captain Jeff Garner with the North Richland Hills Police Department in Texas. Back in 2003, he took a bullet in his leg while chasing a Jeep connected to a recent bank robbery. Investigators now know that suspect was Mark Long of Oklahoma City. 19 years, one month, and nine days later, I identified Mark Long in a photo lineup. For years, Mark Long was living right here in OKC at this home on Southeast 12th Street. According to the Oklahoma Bureau of Investigation, he hit seven different banks across Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas between 1998 and 2003. OSBI got involved in the effort after NHRPD did some DNA testing. They had um, recovered some DNA from one of his seven bank robberies, and they had submitted that and done genetic genealogy. But that wasn't all. A search warrant was granted for investigators to go into the house on Southeast 12th. They found a matching gun and items used for disguises. Investigators even tracked down the Jeep from the wild chase in 2003. The gun um, that was recovered in his home, evidence from the Jeep, where you can see where the officer fired into his tailgate. Some of the robberies were big paydays for Long, and court documents say his biggest haul was $215,000 at a bank in Wichita, Kansas. And if you throw that in with the other robberies... I think he got away uh, with about... $300,000, maybe a little more. But Captain Garner chose to be compassionate at a press conference this morning. I recognize the Long family is grieving. The Mark who shot me was not the Mark that they knew. The captain extending grace to Mark Long's family. In many ways, these recent events have made them victims of Mark's actions, the same as it did the employees of seven different banks. And investigators have confirmed that Mark Long committed suicide earlier this week.